Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I've got the 2018 version going. As you can see, I'm using build 224 as I just showed you. So if you guys see things that are a little different than what I got going on, well, that's why. But anyways, let's just get rid of that. Guys, this one I'm going to show you how to change audio. If you did some filming and, and, and your audio doesn't come out correct, this one technique will blow you away guys I've got some footage here that I took and it's just audio footage there's no real video to it and I'm gonna show you the before and after so if you guys are out there filming live events or any like that and you don't think you got the audio you wanted just stick with me I can help you so all right guys and the effects called multi-band compressor just so you guys know but anyways let's get right into this I've got some footage here if you guys want to follow along and you got some footage any footage that's got audio this will make it better I guarantee it it's it's amazing so I'm gonna put this audio quiet into my timeline and then I'm gonna jack the volume up and I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna hear it with no effects applied let's just hit it this is really quiet audio it's not very this is loud audio. This is quiet. Loud, quiet audio. Very loud audio. Regular audio. So you see what I'm doing there, guys. I'm just trying like different different tone, different uh, inflection, different uh, decibels, things like that. Just loud, quiet, loud, quiet. Uh, but uh, that's why I'm, I'm doing that because in a lot of cases when you're out filming, you know, sometimes somebody doesn't talk quite loud enough or maybe there's too loud or there's a huge bang or something like that and you don't want to have to go in and and you know micro through the audio like I'll show you I'll just increase the size here you do have the ability to kind of go in and keyframe the audio and pull up you know pull this piece up keyframe it and then pull it down keyframe it stuff like that guys I'm not we're not going to do any of that we're going to do one technique one one thing and it's a it's a it's an effect that comes standard in Adobe Premiere Pro at least in the latest versions and let's just get right going so you've heard the audio and it's not bad but we can make it better so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your effects I'm just gonna to go to the top here and click on the effects and you're gonna see that when I type into the here I'm gonna type in multi and when you get going there's gonna be two multi band compressors the old one the obsolete one and then there's the new one the new one is the one we want to go with drag and drop that onto the timeline okay now when you'll see over here on the left side here when I'm in the effect controls it is applied but this is a very messy uh, workspace for me so I'm gonna click back to editing and I'm actually gonna increase the size of the uh, timeline and decrease the size of the video part because it doesn't really matter what the video is because this is an audio tutorial primarily so there we go guys so let's just hear again what we got okay actually you know what I'm gonna turn it off and again, listen to what we got here. This is really quiet audio. It's not very loud. This is loud audio. Okay, it's not bad, but I mean, it can be improved for sure. Um, so what the next thing you want to do is you want to turn multiband compressor on. You want to go to your effect controls. Then you want to click edit. And this is what you're going to see. Now, in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018, it defaults to broadcast. And then when you click on that, there's all these different presets. I mean, we don't have time to to go through all of them but there are um, an amazing amount of different options here so hiss reduction if you've got some you know background hiss going on or if you want to kill the harshness what the hell is that look I don't even this know what really that quiet audio okay well whatever it is look at those scopes eh? uh, but you actually want to go to broadcast and here's the thing here I'll stop you here quickly because when you default and it defaults to broadcast I don't know if you saw it, but it defaults without applying the effect. It's absolutely bizarro, but you actually have to click on it and then click one of these other ones like hiss reduction, and then you'll see that it does, you know, its thing, and then go back to broadcast, and now the effect is applied. It is bizarre, but you have to do that. And you'll know the effect is applied just because you'll see that these uh, little uh, dials are in different places where when it's default, it all just defaults to zero. So again, guys, I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole, but you do have to click down, select uh, select one, and then select broadcast again. Now, the thing that we want to look at, and you only really need to attack, uh, adjust two things. I mean, you can, you can mess around if you really know your audio, but if you want to just quick and dirty and do this right and do it really good, you want to change the attack and the release. The attack is basically how touchy it is. So if you have quiet audio, how fast do you want the effect 
to boost the 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 uh, the audio up. So if someone's talking real quiet, do you want to? How long do you want to wait until this effect kicks in? In this situation, you want to go down to one millisecond. You want it to go really really quickly. You know, you don't want somebody to grad the voice to gradually increase um, on the attack. And in terms of release, guys, this is kind of seasoned to taste, but I generally go with about a 200 millisecond, eh, about 200 milliseconds um, for release. This is basically like, you know, you know, the attack gets the, when it's quiet, release is when it's really, really high, when it's, when it's got a bit booming sound, so it slowly releases it off. This is, this is my stats, this is what I go with. Um, but you guys can season it to taste. Now let's click off of this, and now the effect has been applied. Let's listen to it again without the effect. This is really quiet audio. It's not very loud. This is loud audio. Okay, you heard it. Now we're going to apply the effect, and you can toggle the effect on or off by clicking this in case you weren't sure. Clicking on that, now let's toggle the effect on and listen. This is really quiet audio. It's not very loud. This is loud audio. This is quiet, loud, quiet audio. This is just by doing this alone, we've introduced bass, we've made sure that the quiet parts are louder and the loud parts are brought down. It's an amazing effect and, it, and you can apply this to like huge rolls of footage. So if you have like a 20 minute uh, piece of film, you've been filming 20 minutes straight, you don't want to go in there like I said and keyframe every little bit. You can just drop it on and it works the whole way through. Amazing stuff. Um, you will notice that when you were we were going through it right there on the levels... On the right side, it was up and it was kind of peaking. So we do want to go ahead and make one further adjustment in this situation. I'm going to go back to the multiband compressor, hit edit, and I'm going to pull down the output gain. And I think we're about five decibels too high. So I've dropped it down five dB. Let's listen to it again. This is really quiet audio. All right. It's not very loud. This is loud audio. So it got pretty close to zero. It was in the minus three, minus two range. But again, it looks pretty good. So again, last time, guys, I don't want to belabor the point, but we, really, this is an amazing effect. Without it, this is really quiet audio. It's not very loud. This is loud audio. Now we'll go back with it on again. This is really quiet audio. It's not very loud. This is loud audio. Just that alone, guys, if, if you have some footage and you didn't think you got the audio you wanted and parts are too quiet or too loud, apply this effect. It's amazing. Just follow these rules here that I just showed you. You could even save it. If you go in and edit it, you can save this as a preset. So uh, where the heck is it? You can, yeah, you can go in and save it as a preset. Oops, no. So it's called, yeah, broadcast. But I, I don't want to go through the process with you. But, guys, you could save that preset. And I think it's just right-clicking on it, right? Yeah. Right click on it right there, save preset, and I'm going to call this Curtis Awesome Audio. Boom. Done. Now, any footage that I drop on there, it's just going to attack it and put it on there. It's going to sound awesome, guys. Thanks for watching this. I hope I got, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back more with some more stuff shortly. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.